Ron Kaufman is on the phone with us. He is a, 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 an expert in customer service, also the author of a book called Uplifting Service, The Proven Path to Delighting Your Customers, Colleagues, and Everyone Else You Meet. That's quite a task, Ron. Everyone? Everybody. We're all in this world together, and we all have a role to play either in getting service or giving service to one another. We hear a lot of complaints about customer service these days, don't we? Yeah, well, people have forgotten that the fundamental reason that we're all here is to take action that creates value for other people. And that's the definition of service that I use in the book, Uplifting Service, taking action to create value for others. It's the key to career success and company success and community success. Okay, Ron, well, here's what seems a little bit wrong. When we start talking about advances in technology helping customer service that seems backwards it seems like technology is the reason why we don't have a lot of customer service technology has been improving ever since cavemen put two sticks on a cross on a path as a way of communicating danger and it goes all the way up through websites and interactive technology today but technology will never replace the human element we still ultimately need people to listen to and care for and act for other people to help take care of each other's concerns. Technology is an enabler. All right, well, let's talk about uh, Ava. The, yes, Ava the Avatar. Ava the Avatar. Uh, I guess there are three of them at uh, the three major airports in the New York area. Is that right? And basically you walk up to them, and she can see that you're already there and says, Hi, can I help you? And you you ask a question, and she's got voice recognition, and she's able to give you the fundamentals, like where's the bathroom, where's the gate, where can I find the post office, the kinds of things that a human being shouldn't have to do. That's why we created signs. And Ava the Avatar is just an example of an uplifting service being provided by a technology interface. Now, do consumers feel better about using Ava than they would some guy over the counter? Well, I guess it's like if you look up and you see a sign and it tells you which way to go versus having to go to an information counter and stand in line waiting to ask your question and then have somebody give you the answer. In other words, there's a a role for that technology to play to make your life easier, to make your service experience better. Is Ava in operation right now at the airports? She is in operation at the airport, and you know she's going to get smarter and smarter. Like They'll have recognition to be able to walk up and see whether you're male, female, tall or a child, sitting in a wheelchair, what age. They'll even start to be able to pick up from your accent what language Ava should use in speaking back to you. The whole idea is to provide a more uplifting service experience for you. And people who work in service should not feel threatened by that, like it's their job being taken away. They should see that as a support, just like a telephone or a website. Ron, you brought up, brought up an important thing here because uh, Apple's Siri has gotten a lot of criticism because Siri sometimes can't interpret accents correctly or gives wrong or embarrassing answers. I suppose they've figured that out with Ava. Well, she's just learning. I mean, Siri's kind of brand new to the market, and Ava was just born. And I'm sure if you go back in most technologies, you'll find that they were clunky or they were inefficient at the beginning. But if you're the service provider that needs to work with one of these new technologies, it's as much incumbent upon you to learn how to improve that, make suggestions to your company about how to make it better. Don't be in resistance to it because it's definitely coming. Well, I'm assuming right now that people are fascinated and are gathering around Ava even if they don't need any information, and soon we'll just accept it as a part of life and move right on. And we won't even think about it. You think that's going to happen soon? Sure. I don't know how old you are, but I remember when in our house the phone would ring and we'd go running through the house, it's long distance. (laughs) (laughs) I don't even know what long distance is anymore. That's right. We're all connected, and we're all connected in service to each other. And that's what the Uplifting Service book is about. And people can find out about it at upliftingservice.com. Is how can you participate in that to make your career more successful? Very good. And uh, it is out in the bookstores right now, Uplifting Service, something certainly everybody in business should consider reading. Ron Kaufman is the author. Thank you so much for being on the show. A pleasure to be with you.